Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install a short throw shifter on your 2000 to 2006 Toyota Corolla with a 5 speed manual transmission. You only need a couple of tools for this project, so let's get started with what you're going to need. You're going to need a hammer, a 3 8 and half inch drive with an 8mm, a 10mm, and a 14mm, and some extensions. Uh, your shifter and bushings, of course, and I'd recommend some coffee. This project could take a little bit. Start by removing your shift knob. Just unscrew it counterclockwise and it should come off. If you have an aftermarket one like I do, it might be a little difficult. You might need to get some vice grips or something. If you have an adapter like you see in the video, I had to go grab some vice grips. But it does come off eventually very simply and just make sure you put that in a safe place because you'll need it later. Next thing you're going to want to do is remove your center console. That's fairly simple. There are only two 10 millimeter bolts at the bottom of your center console that you need to remove and it should slide right out. Um, don't forget to remove your two 12 volt connectors as well. Now that you've removed your center console, next thing you're going to need to do is remove your shifter and shifter cage. And this process is very straightforward. There's only four bolts you have to take out, one in each corner of the cage. Um, you're going to need an extension for the top two bolts. They are kind of a hard to reach place. Um, and you're also going to have to remove the pin of your shifter linkage arm. It's on the left hand side of your cage. Just pull that pin out, place it aside because you are going to need to reuse it. Now we can take the shifter inside and we can install our short throw shifter. Remove your shifter linkage bolt first then pry around the ball joint. Eventually it will come off and you'll be able to take out your old shifter and install your new one. Now that we have everything back installed into our cage, we can reinstall our shifter cage back into our car. Remember, it's the same process as you did to remove it, except in reverse order, and you also do have those two 12 volt connectors you do have to reconnect. I hope you all enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you guys have any questions about the installation, please feel free to comment or private message me. Uh, the tools I used for this project were a 3 8 drive, a half inch drive, an 8 millimeter, a 10 millimeter, and a 14 millimeter deep, and some extensions. Uh, this project took approximately about two and a half hours um, with uh, both of my front seats removed. I would recommend removing those. It does make it a lot easier for the install. And I will also leave the link to the uh, Toyota Nation guide that I used for this install. I would like to thank them very much. They are very, very helpful over there and I actually had some questions that they were able to answer and the uh, guide's about like seven years old and people are still responding to it. So they're very awesome over there. So thank you guys so much again for that. And everyone have a wonderful day.